It's Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making banana chocolate chip muffins. So let's get started. For this recipe you need a small blender. So first of all I've added one cup of plant-based milk. Today I'm using soy milk but you could use any plant-based milk that you like for this. And to this mixture I'm going to add 10 pitted medjool dates. So they're quite large dates, nice and soft which will give it a nice caramelly sweet flavour. Okay, and then I'm also adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of white vinegar. Okay, and this is ready to blend up. Okay, so that's been blending for about a minute and it's nice and mixed through. And this will be the liquid part of this batter for the muffins. Okay, so for the next stage, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've also got a muffin tin that I've lined with some paper muffin liners. So it'll be 12 of those for this recipe. So for the dry ingredients, I've just got a mixing bowl here and I've added already one and one quarter or one and one fourth cup of whole wheat flour. But you could use any flour that you like for this if you prefer to use an all purpose flour or even spelt flour works really well with this. Feel free to use those options. Now into this I'm adding one teaspoon of baking powder. So not baking soda, you want the baking powder. And half a teaspoon of coarse Celtic sea salt. And before adding anything else, give this a really good mix through so that the baking powder is mixed evenly with the flour. Okay, so next I've mashed up about three large ripe bananas. So it's about one cup's worth. And I'm just adding that to the flour mixture. And I'm also adding in the mixture that I blended earlier with the milk and dates. Just make sure you get everything out of your blender and into this mixing bowl. Okay, and finally I'm adding about half a cup of dark chocolate chips. So these are vegan. Make sure that you don't get a milk version of these. So it's plant-based. Okay. And then for the final stage, you're just going to give this a good mix through. So don't over mix this because you still want the muffins to be light and fluffy and not a dense consistency but do make sure that the flour is well incorporated into this mixture. So that's all mixed together really nicely and it's ready to put into the muffin um, liners and then ready to go in the oven. Okay, now just spread the mixture evenly so you end up with 12 large muffins. Okay, so that is our 12 muffins ready to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so these have been in the oven for just under 25 minutes and they're lightly browned and they're smelling delicious. So if you can wait for these to cool down, let them cool down for half an hour or so before you start eating them. Um, because the chocolate does get very, very hot in there. But if you do want to have a little taste test and check how hot and gooey that chocolate really is, then by all means, give it a go. I'll very, very, very gently try to have a little taste test of this. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I'll just break a tiny bit off. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they're delicious. They're so good. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, hurry up half an hour so they, <laughs> they cool down. I really want to eat it. Mm. 
give this recipe a try. Remember, you can always print all of my recipes from my website at cookingwithplants.com. And also join me on Facebook at Cooking With Plants. I'd love to hear your feedback on these if you make them. Mm. Hurry up time and cool down. I can't wait to eat this and I can't wait to do my next recipe, which I will show you soon. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mm.